Now, Donald Trump all of a sudden wants to go back and remember this. He ran on the first thing he was going to do on day one was to repeal Obamacare. On day one, he tried to sign an executive order to repeal the ACA. He signed on to a lawsuit to repeal the ACA, but lost at the Supreme Court. And he would have repealed the ACA had it not been for the courage of John McCain to save that bill. Now, fast forward, what that means to you is you lose your pre-existing conditions. If you're sitting at home and you got asthma, too bad. If you're a woman, probably not. Broke your foot during football, might kick you out. Your kids get kicked out when they're 26. Kamala Harris negotiated drug prices for the first time with Medicare. We have 10 drugs that will come online, the most common ones that'll be there. But look, this issue, and when Donald Trump said, I've got a concept of a plan, it cracked me up as a fourth grade teacher because my kids would have never given me that. But what Senator Vance just explained might be worse than a concept, because what he explained is pre-Obamacare. And I'll make this as simple as possible, because I have done this for a long time. What they're saying is, if you're healthy, why should you be paying more? So what they're going to do is let insurance companies pick who they insure, because guess what happens? You pay your premium, it's not much. They figure they're not going to have to pay out to you. But those of you a little older, gray, you know, got cancer, you're going to get kicked out of it. That's why the system didn't work. Kamala Harris will protect and enhance the ACA.